Welcome, Leo, to your reading. I'm Scorpio Moon, intuition bring messages from spirit. This reading is general and it may or may not resonate with you. Take what resonates and leave the rest. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can visit www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. This reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Cross Watcher, if you're the ones watching this, then it may resonate with you. So let's begin. If you're wearing headphones, please lower the volume. I welcome in my spirit guides and all angels, nice and great as good. I welcome messages of love and light that bring healing and love to you all. Please bless this reading. Thank you. All right, Leo, let's go ahead and take a look. Spirit, please bring forth clear messages in regards to the person that is connected to Leo's in love. What does Leo need to know about this person that they're connected to in love? What is the energy or vibration that wants to show through in today's channeled message? Please, Spirit. Who is this person that is connected to Leo's at this time? And what does Leo need to know about their love interest? Thank you. Well, so we have here Dark Knight of the Soul, but it's in reverse. So what I'm getting here is that uh, maybe your person is resisting uh, taking a deep dive into their shadow self. Okay, that's what I'm seeing here so far. And look, we have here shadow work. They know that they need to do the, uh, the shadow work and they're having a hard time of releasing and like letting go of a situation. So um, um, what I'm getting is that this particular person has uh, a form of attachment and this attachment is kind of toxic. It's actually um, holding them back from ascending, okay, or growing spiritually uh, from what I can feel. Uh, you know, also I see here recognition. Maybe there's something that um, they're not saying so you are dealing with someone who is very stubborn and maybe um, I'm not saying self-centered, but only thinks about themselves and their own personal viewpoints in their own situation. So they're very close minded, not wanting to look at other perspectives or looking from the outside uh, in. Okay. You know, if your person is resisting this dark night of the soul, I really feel like there's still some work that your person needs to do. And um, they have a hard time with letting go of family. So perhaps uh, the person that you're dealing with, um, there is like a family or a group situation that they need to let go. And... Um, You know, maybe they released this uh, family situation in the fall. That's what I'm getting. You know, in the fall months could have been around October, November time frame. Okay, maybe at the end of September, uh, going into uh, December, right? I see that there is communication that maybe this person would like to have a compromise with you. But they have a hard time of really thinking about the past. And I really feel like your person is being very pessimistic right now. Uh, they know that they need to heal. So this is what I'm feeling. You know, I definitely do feel that this is a twin flame connection. And the reason why I'm saying this is because I see her healing. This particular person is trying to balance out their chakras and trying to ground themselves. Also, if uh, they really want to come through and have a compromise and communicate this to you, maybe they've already communicated this to you back in the fall months. Regardless if, if this person confessed to you or, or communicated to you about this or not, this could be in the coming fall, okay, which um, 
you know, which is a couple months away, right? We still have summer to go through. So possibly like another four months um, before your person wants to communicate and have a sense of compromise. Okay. Um, <clears throat> you know, I really feel like they're trying to let go of family or they're maybe attached towards a group of people. Um, I see here a tribe and they feel bound. So they're in a state of surrender. So if your divine counterpart has ran from the connection from you, what I'm feeling is that they're in a state of surrender. They're learning to release and let go of uh, being in control over whatever situation that they're in. Okay, everyone has free will to choose whatever they want, but universe is going to work on that person's free will. So if they chose to be with a family situation, um, I really feel like they're actually uh, getting out of it because it does feel kind of karmic in nature. Okay. Um, yeah, I see that they're letting go of a family uh, and, and they just feel bound to this group of people. More than anything, I have a feeling that your person really wants to apologize to you, but they're just not in the right vibration right now. So I have a feeling like this, this person is still going through their dark night of the soul. They still have to do the shadow work. Now, right now, we're, we're in the shadowy period, right? Um, we're in a Mercury retrograde. So things are slowing down. Your person is really reevaluating their past. And um, I definitely feel like they're healing their inner child. So there's definitely work going on behind the scenes with your particular person. And I really feel like you are not with this uh, individual. Yeah, they're no longer being stuck in the past. So this is the thing, okay, with twin flame connections. And I'm just going to say that, you know, I feel very twin flame-ish with this particular reading. So whether or not you're following me, you know, uh, for twin flame readings, what I'm feeling with this particular person is that they're no longer uh, being stuck to a past narrative about their childhood situation dealing with a family. Okay, yes, they're actually going through the shadow work. So I really feel like they're actually healing. Okay, they're real time going through this. They're going through an awakening. They're going through some sort of uh, awareness from what I can feel. And I see here winter, but it's in reverse. So um, they're no longer being cold. They're actually starting to warm up towards whatever the situation ship is to the karmic. Okay. And I see that. Yes. Okay. The answer is yes. They're becoming awakened as to who the karmic partner is. And I really feel like it's a family member or a group of people that they associated themselves with. Okay. Or chose over you. I see her summer. And I see also devotion and it's in reverse. Your person is thinking, okay, that they have not been staying true to their mission. So if your person has some sort of like talent or, you know, or maybe there was something that they always wanted to pursue, but they couldn't because, you know, maybe, you know, they were kind of stuck in a 3D, you know, with these group of people and living out um their situation in the matrix i i really feel like your person is starting to change uh slowly they realize that um they're not really reflecting on their true selves and they realize okay if this is a divine masculine they are not uh walk you know working on their true authentic self and that's why you are not in union with your divine counterpart they have a lot of regret that they didn't work on themselves sooner. I really feel like a lot of time has passed and um, they regret that they didn't change while they had the ability to do it. But I really feel like uh, your particular person, you know, they needed this time. They needed to take whatever time that, you know, that they needed to get over it. Okay. Whatever the it factor is. And I really feel like it's a family. Uh, for some, I'm feeling like four years. Four is actually coming to my mind. It's been four years since um, 
you've been in separation from this person and that's not going to be for everyone. Maybe four years ago, something has happened significantly. Um, that was kind of like a major milestone or event uh, that happened between the two of you. And they realized that um, they haven't been able to go into a new direction because they're not feeling very balanced. So everything is happening in chronological order from what I can see. And it's teaching them patience. Okay. And they realize that they're not connecting to their higher self, that they're only just looking at what's in front of them. Very 3D, very matrixy, right? And now they're learning to ascend. They're learning to ascend and realize that they haven't really forgiven themselves. And now they're being guided to take action because time is running out. And the answer is possibly no. They're saying no, that it's it's time to get over the grief. So this is what I, I'm strongly feeling. I really feel like this is for my twin flames, okay? And your person is at the point where they're preparing themselves for union, but they're not quite ready yet. I really feel like they're three-fourths of the way going to the last quarter, right? I keep, you know, uh, feeling like they're at the end of their journey. That's what it feels like. So let's go ahead and see what is the energy between the two of you. Spirit, please reveal to me what is the energy of the person that is connected to Leo's in love. What is the energy, please, Spirit? How does this person currently think and feel? What is it that they want and what is the outcome? And Spirit, what is Leo's energy towards this person? And what is the connection between the two? Thank you. Well, so your person definitely wants to come in very quickly, okay, after a period of no communication. I really feel like this is no communication. Um, you know, I feel like you guys haven't really been talking lately. That's what it feels like, but I really feel like they ha they're having a burst of energy um, to do something. And um, what I'm getting is that... Uh, they realized that they were really selfish before in the past. They were only thinking about themselves, but they realized that something was missing. Okay. And um, they had a tower moment. They, they realized that they couldn't really let you go. And they've been really working on themselves this time. And I really feel that now that they've become independent, and they're doing well for themselves, they really want to come in and communicate their feelings, but they're a little bit stressed over this communication. I honestly feel like these are for those who haven't received communication from your person in a while, okay? And um, while they were working on themselves, um, I mean, they're not 100% yet, okay, guys? But I really feel like uh, it's really stressing them out to approach you because of the time. It's been a while. And I see that with the Nine of Wands over here, um, they're learning to release the hurt, okay, or whatever that has happened between the two of you so that they can make an offer. It's been a long time coming. I really feel like this person has been slowly but surely uh inching their way towards you to make some sort of offer and they realize that you know they didn't have the patience to really offer this to you before um they're trying to really figure out okay what what should they do to come through and tell you how they feel yeah i definitely said there's an offer here it's going to happen within a year, guys, okay? Like, this person is coming in slowly but surely. I didn't feel like it's going to come now, okay? I really felt like four months. So um, that's your solar return. So around your birthday, I have a feeling that this past person is going to be coming back, okay? Um, 
that's what I'm feeling. And if it's not a past person, it's someone new, but I really feel like um, it's your twin. Okay. If you've met your twin already. Um, and if it's not a twin, it's somebody who has been in this vibration who you'll meet uh, that is going to be like this when, when they offer this to you. But I, I feel very strongly that this is a past person. Now, uh, they had a hard time of making a decision because they didn't have the strength. They didn't have the courage to approach you to let you know that um, they really see you as a, a spouse. They really want to settle down. They're just afraid to tell you this. Yeah, your person is like a little bit, they're not ready yet, you know, with the Page of Cups energy. Emotionally, they're just not feeling secure enough to make this offer. But I see that the King of Cups is showing up, you know, but they're kind of stressed out. Um, I really feel that it's because maybe it was a missed opportunity to have like this beautiful connection with you. Um, mind you, we had uh, the Nine of Cups earlier. Okay, we have the seven over here, and then we have the ten. They don't know. I really feel like they don't know if you want to take them back. Okay, if this is a past person. Now, they've really thought about this, and I see that they want to get out of separation with you. And for some, it's been five years. What did I say? I said four years, right, guys? For some, it could have been five years. Maybe you've known them from five years ago, and... um. I don't know, like if this is for, you know, four years, like going four to five years, I feel like within a year, this person is going to be coming back. I feel like you're due. Um, yeah, they realize that they didn't tell you, they kind of cut you out. Um, for some, maybe you're dealing with an Aries and I see that, you know, they're very controlling. It was like their way or no way. And they were trying to balance themselves. Wow, see, two, three, two to three years, okay? Um, I see that they really want to work on things with you. They're, they were trying, so they were cold towards you because they were not stable before in the past. After a couple of years, they were working on trying to balance themselves. Maybe they're codependent on a family, okay? And that's why they didn't really choose you. They didn't choose you and they, they kind of, you know, resorted back to this family a situation. But three years into it, okay, now they've been really wanting to work on things with you. You know, for some, maybe, uh, you know, you didn't receive communication for others. Yes, you have. Okay, maybe it's been three years and now they want to come back. And then there was conflict. So maybe you guys had an argument. Okay, but they realized that it's not over. They, they really, they, this person really feels like you are their other half. I feel very strongly about that in the very beginning of this reading. Okay, let's let's take a look. Yeah, um, they were really working a lot because maybe financially they just weren't very stable. That's what I keep getting from this person. So, so they had to make a decision. Okay, and I see that with you, Leo. Um, you feel like you're, you know, hey, tough luck, you know, you missed your chance. <laughs> and I really feel like that both of you guys really wanted to do something about it. You know, both of you guys are kind of like, somebody's got to like step up. That That's what it feels like. Both of you guys really want to change something. So let's see, how does your person feel? They really feel like they need to end a cycle, possibly with a karmic, because the karmic here was emotionally manipulating your person. Also, what I'm feeling is that they didn't they didn't feel very good about offering you love. And I see that with you, Leo. You're like, this won't work out. They're not even, are they done with a karmic? Like, you're being logical from what I can feel. Now, I see here at the start, they have hope that they can heal. And maybe uh, they have hope that they can get out of a situation with the karmic. You know, for some, I feel like they're living with somebody, like family, maybe a person. Um, you know, maybe they're married. 
uh, things like that. But I see that if they're married, they're getting out of a relationship. And you're getting, you're still like getting over the hurt. Okay. This is what you want. You want to get over this third party. You don't want to turn back so you can hurt yourself because you try to let those two of cups go. You've already been there. Okay. Because uh, you're thinking this four of cups energy, like it was a missed opportunity. So Leo, you don't want to hurt yourself over this person, right? Um, you know, hurt your pride too much, you know, you, you wouldn't let somebody do that to you. I mean, they had their chance. That's what it feels like. And this person needs to really show up. You know, where's their loyalty, right? Are they loyal for, for my lovely Leos? <laughs> like, so your person is leaving a situation. And I feel like they're leaving a family. And you're taking the time to really think, what what do you want in long-term connections? So both you guys are going through a situation, but differently. So I see that they end up being defend, defensive here. They're trying to guard themselves. And I see that you're trying to get out of your head about this ending. Like you can't do this anymore. So, you know, the feeling that I'm getting for my Leos is like, you know, oh, this person again. You know, more than anything, you just want to get over it. But there's something here, like with this person's energy, they're really defending themselves about, they're, they're fighting the fight. They're really like going through hell, okay? That's what it feels like because I'm feeling the struggle as I'm feeling your person's energy. And it's like they, they can't, communicate like the words don't really come out the way that they want to and you might take it the wrong way and it's because of the the toxic family and how they communicate with them and how they can communicate towards you it's like it's how do they disconnect the way that they have been with the karmic for all these years, possibly over 10 years, okay? And that's for some. And then how are they going to come to you and communicate to you when they're still in this energy or vibration of having arguments with the karmic situation? That's what it looks like. Like your person, they're making plans though, okay? They're trying to leave the karmic and I see that you're hurt. Your ego is in a way. And both you guys are trying to figure out, you know, use your intuition. I see your person actually holds back from communicating to you about they're trying to balance things out. You don't want to hear it. But I see that with the lovers, okay, you're, you're just being divinely guided. If this person were to come, they're going to come. Your higher self is telling you your divine counterpart will come in the right time. But you don't want to sit here and keep yourself hurt over a person who doesn't show up. That's why I see you guys, you know, and I'm, I'm not going to lie. This person isn't going to show up now. <laughs> I really feel like they're not going to show up until like August. I really feel that. And they have between now until then, okay, to really work on this. And I see that there's some change in regards to their traditional beliefs, their value systems. They know that they need to work on themselves. They need to practice self-love and self-care. What did I say in the earlier, earlier part of this reading? I really feel like this is a twin flame. And at the end stages of twin flame reunions, okay, there's, okay, you're past the runner chaser phase. I really feel you guys are in separation. Okay, and you've been working on yourself. You, you've you been alone. Okay, and you know, I really feel that with you, you're, you're still trying to get over the hurt. No matter how long you've left the situation with this past person, and I really feel like it's a past person. You already met this person before. You're st there's still lingerings of hurt. Like you don't want to go back to that. You you don't want to put yourself in that position. Your person is finally becoming awakened. 
it, I know it. There, there's love, okay. But it took them a long time to come to this idea of self-love, instead of giving their love towards someone, okay, or towards you. They're trying to give that love back to them themselves. They're they're checking their morals, their ethics, their values, learning how to become more transparent with this water energy because we saw the page of cups we saw the king of cups there's love there but they have a hard time of expressing their love this is a personal issue that your person needs to work on and i really feel like their inability to show love was because of the lack of love with the family situation that they were growing or you know whatever that they're doing with growing up in either that they were associated with with you know like dealing with a karmic partner things like that but i really feel like they're they're getting out of that energy and this takes time but i really feel like there was already a good time apart between you and this person you had time to really grow on a son on your own this person was doing it in a slow way, but they were doing it, okay? Uh, this person is spiritual. You know, they do have that. And um, it, it just took them a while for them to grow into this spiritual body, okay? Or this spiritual awareness so that you guys can come into alignment so that union can uh, take place. So I really feel like um, it's coming, it's slow. Um, but that's what I'm seeing. And you're still on the mend over here. I really feel like for you, Leo, a lot of time has passed and you're still like working on it. Like, I really feel like you've patched it up for the most part, but I'm not going to lie. I mean, you, you're just trusting in the universe and the universal flow. Um, you know, your ego kind of gotten away here for a hot minute and, um, You've you've had plenty of time to really think about this situation, dealing with this person who never really showed up. But I really feel that um they are okay. You're just not seeing it. So let's go ahead and see what are the messages. What else do they want to say? Spirit, what are the messages that this person like to say? What are the messages that this person like to say? <laughs> Obviously, it's a lot because um, maybe you guys haven't been talking lately. Okay, or maybe um, they have a hard time of expressing their feelings, right? I don't like the attention others give to you, and I know I should be giving you more. I'm just frozen in fear. You know, maybe they, they're seeing that you're actually doing something for yourself. You know, maybe you're uh, in the limelight, or maybe you're getting the attention from other people because of your charisma. You know, um, this person was always attracted to you, but they could never really tell tell that to you okay i really feel like they i don't know um they hold hold back from expressing this sometimes i feel like you would be better off if i disappeared but i can't let go that's why i really feel like you know i saw that you're having a hard time of letting this person go you may feel um hurt because of some sort of, i really feel like it was a rejection okay and so um you know, this person has to realize what they have done also towards you for you to even be like that. You know, I really feel like this person chose a family over you. That's what it seems like. So I don't know if I could ever explain just how much I love you and what I am going through. I know, I know, because I feel it. You know, whoever your person is, I really feel like they, they just have a hard time of expressing their feelings. And pleasure takes on a whole new meaning with you so um 
only you and your person knows about that. I'm not going to relish on that one. Okay, guys. <laughs> I'm afraid to open up and I know it'll be the end of my ability to keep these walls up. I'm just protecting my heart. It really isn't you. It's me again. You know, your person was really blocked up in their heart space. They were just so afraid to open up towards you. And I know it's like, you know, you would think that after all this time that your person would open up and everyone's, you know, uh, you know, journey is different, right? Everyone, um, you know, you can't tell a, a hurt person, hey, hurry up and heal, you know, get over it already, right? You know, um, it really depends on the person. Some people heal faster than others. And I really feel like your person's slow. Okay, no joke. I'm feeling it. I've searched for you and others and nobody compares. Maybe after all the years of separation, they try to compare you to other people. Okay, and nobody really c compares. And I've read and reread every message you sent. Those words are deep in my heart. So you really touched them, Leo. Okay, um, maybe you said something to them uh, that really resonated, but they never admitted it. Okay, uh, that that's what I'm feeling. So I don't know, guys. You know. Let's see, what is the crystal message? What does spirit want you to know? So the healing message is for sun, moon, rising, or Venus, Leos, or the cross watcher who is watching. So let's find out, okay? What is the healing message that we all need to know at this time? Wow, it's like slipped out. Oh, wow, we have the truth, higher truth. And when you want to know the higher truth, right? The truth will set you free, and it's a number three. It says, this medicine will assist you to find truth in all things. Identifying the crystal. A truth crystal has seven edges that make up the main face and the triangle on the opposite side. As long as seven edges make up the face, they can be different lengths. The crystal medicine. The geometry of seven resonates to the seeker. The seeker, the one looking for the truth. It is the perfect crystal for those special souls who embark on a lifelong journey of awakening their truth. The triangle at the back of the crystal allows for the truth to manifest in the physical form and into your life. This amazing crystal encourages you to look deep within your soul and to find your own divine wisdom and personal truth, supporting and assisting in truth and creating this truth in your life and in stepping fully onto the path of self-empowerment. It connects you to the love and wisdom of the universe where all truth is held, allowing you to align with the highest truth of all. As you connect and align with this high vibrational light, you become a pure beacon of love and wisdom. That's beautiful, guys. Let's see. The truth crystal is a wonderful friend for anyone who works as a medium, tarot reader, automatic writer, of, or angel into it. Having this crystal present brings through the wisdom and information you're seeking and allows you to open or receive the wisdom with a deep knowing, creating true realization. This crystal assists in experiencing self-empowerment, discovering personal truth, connecting to and channeling the wisdom of the cosmos connecting to your internal knowledge and obtaining love and wisdom from within your soul. The message from the diva is your deeper truth will be revealed to you with clarity and expanded awareness. There is something in your existence currently that is not aligned with your truth and is calling you uh, to attain deeper understanding. Your divine truth is available to you at all times. However, sometimes it takes a little period of self-reflection and inner work for it to be clear 
We live in a world of illusion and confusion, and at times it can be challenging to trust your intuition. It is easy to search outside for the truth in others and the situations around you, but the divine truth always lies within, and now it's time for you to trust yourself on a deeper level. Have you been searching outside yourself for the answers? Do you look for the truth in others? Do you find it challenging to trust your own guidance? Are you confused over what you do in your current situation? Do you struggle to trust your own intuition? It is time to find the higher truth in your situation, and the Crystal Diva is here to assist you with it to connect deeply with your higher mind. If this is new for you, um, know that uh, the more you follow your inner truth, the easier it will be. It's like using a muscle. The more you work on it, uh, the stronger it becomes. The truth is not always as it seems, and you're being asked to delve deeper into your situation. Take the time to go within and connect to your own soul's wisdom and trust in the guidance that is coming to you. This medicine uh, is about also manifesting this truth into your world. Work with the divas of the crystal as you become aware of your divine truth and be open to this manifest into your life. Wow, that's beautiful. So if you guys are interested in doing like this meditative practice, okay, here we go. If you have a divine truth crystal you can work with, uh, call upon the energy or you can use this uh, visualization with this truth card. Take some quiet time for yourself. Close your eyes and connect deeply with your breath. Allowing your mind and body to relax. Call upon your higher self for guidance and clarity on your current situation. Place the crystal on this card or on your third eye and receive the message. Allow the energy and information from the message to be imprinted on your mind. Come back when you're ready to allow the truth to come to you. Make sure you journal what comes to you. Clarity and truth may come to you instantly. However, it can take as long as it needs to integrate and come into full fruition. That's really a, a beautiful uh, technique that you could actually do to seek your higher truth. And that's just being real. That's like tapping into your subconscious and bringing it to your conscious state. That's what I see, guys. So I really hope that that was helpful. Let me know. Thank you all for watching. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can visit www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. You can also follow me on IG at Scorpio Moon Intuition. I hope you all have a lovely day and I will see you next time. Bye bye. <music>